2022 Subaru WRX review, it's not like they were pretty before. From anti-bullying initiatives in grade school to trite adages like don't judge a book by its cover, we learn from an early age not to make assumptions based on looks, and most of us make that effort, for appearances sake if nothing else. But when it comes to cars, sometimes we just won't budge. If the four-wheeled appliance in question is ugly or unconventional, we straight up refuse to like it. The 2022 Subaru WRX might encounter this pitfall, because boy is it an unusual design. When it was first revealed last year, the peanut gallery crucified the WRX's extensive plastic cladding on the lower body, which looks more appropriate on a Forester than Subaru's legendary sporty sedan. Adding to the drama is last place fuel economy and an inexcusable lack of active safety when optioning the WRX with a manual gearbox. But while it's certainly not attractive, to my eyes at least, it's not like folks fawned over the previous generation's bug-eye or narrow-bodied designs when they were new. And does any potential WRX owner really care that much about peccadillos like fuel economy and safety nannies? If you can get past those stylistic and logical downfalls, you won't miss out on what a capable, comfortable, and snortingly fun four-door the 2022 WRX is. The Roo's new face features a pointy grille and narrow headlights that help the car fit in better with the current Outback and Forester, and the creased taillights look far more modern than the outgoing WRX's blob-shaped units. The chiseled fenders look like modernized box flares from the legendary Impreza 22B, and the huge hood vent for the intercooler is yet another WRX signature cue. A lip spoiler adds just a touch of aggressiveness, hopefully Subaru will soon offer a big basket handle wing to atone for discontinuing the STI. But while the details are attractive, the overall product looks messy and downmarket. A peaked roof and sloping front hood give the new WRX decidedly economical proportions, a problem that plagued the previous generation, but is made much worse by the new Subaru's extensive cladding. Although the wheel arches themselves are round, they're trimmed in unattractive, beveled plastic, a cue borrowed from the outback wilderness that looks nearly acceptable on a crossover and totally out of place on a sporty, compact sedan. There's yet more textured black plastic on the front bumper, where it takes the form of an oversized faux vent on each corner, the previous generation Honda Civic comes to mind, and a lower bumper. And nearly the entire rear bumper is done up in the stuff, but at least it's shaped a bit more organically and unobtrusively, framing the quad outlet exhaust while also providing some low-speed damage resistance and easier repair or replacement than a glossy, painted unit. Rally crossers will likely find the cladding more appealing than most, a fitting niche for the WRX to fill. The cabin is more universally appealing, making it a pleasant place to undertake the business of driving. An 11.6-inch touchscreen display takes center stage, with vertical HVAC vents and wing-shaped dashboard elements sparring out from either side. The flat-bottom steering wheel's rim is the perfect thickness, and the stylish, faux suede, trimmed seats look wholly appropriate to the WRX's mission. There is definitely some cheap plastic inside, but it's mostly confined to the lower doors and center console bits. Where it matters most, armrests, window sills, knee bolsters, and the like, the Subaru is nicely padded. The decently constructed interior also helps the WRX feel pleasant and comfortable on the daily slog. Those well-bolstered front seats provide plenty of lateral support in sporty driving, but they're also decently comfortable on long freeway stints. The 2022 WRX deflects untoward noises and harshness better than its former self, although occasionally, booming exhaust tones get in at certain part throttle engine speeds. But it isn't terribly intrusive, especially given the WRX's intended mission. The WRX features nearly best-in-class front head and legroom, and there's more than enough room for even tall drivers. The rear cabin is a bit more cramped, but it's still spacious enough for most people, even on two- or three-hour non-stop trips. In-cabin storage isn't phenomenal, with an adequately sized center console cubby and deep door pockets, but little else. The cargo area is also merely okay, at 12.5 cubic feet, it's worst in its class by nearly two units, but it's also shaped well for big boxes, and the 60-40 rear seats fold flat for long items. Subaru was one of the first mainstream automakers to put a big, vertical touchscreen in its cars, 
and the unit in both the mid-level WRX Premium and my flagship WRX Limited tester measures an impressive 11.6 inches, the base WRX gets a more modest 7.0-inch screen. The Limited distinguishes itself with standard navigation as well. All models get a wired connection for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The so-called Starlink infotainment system works well. The graphics look a bit 90s, like a PlayStation 1 home menu, perhaps, but touch responsiveness is modern and the embedded navigation pans and zooms smoothly. The huge display portions plenty of space to smartphone mirroring, so there's tons of real estate for maps, music, calendar notifications, and the like. When using Subaru's embedded apps, a split-screen function reduces distraction. However, I wish there were more hard buttons for the frequently used climate controls. You only get physical temperature adjustments, while heated seats, fan speed, and airflow are trapped in the screen. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.